Uh, hey guys, I did it today. I just want to show you how to um, achieve, uh, tweak some settings in the materials and achieve this uh, reflective look almost like a uh, wood floor. You know, you polish it, it's very reflective. Just look up pictures. Like I looked it up and I couldn't believe how reflective it was, but we're not going to make it that much because it would make it seem unrealistic. But uh, so. I just want to show you how to do that, so just let's get started. I already have my uh, 3D model set up. Um, you can just do that by scaling your cube down. This is gonna, this is my cube, the default cube. I just scaled it, um, and it's all eight by eight, the grid size. So that's what I did. I just want to uh, express one thing. Just make sure that your cube is not connected with your walls, because if you texture it, it'll texture the whole thing. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So with the cube, let's enter Ed. Uh, edit mode, control R, and let's add some loop cuts. Well, we, we don't really need to do that, but I'll just do it anyways. Okay, so now let's go to face select mode and right click on each face, and let's go to the texture tab. And let's add a texture. I just like to add new ones, I don't, I don't think it makes a difference. So just uh, look up a texture on the internet and that's just whatever you want to use I downloaded a wood floor texture just like that but I'm actually going to um, I'm actually going to repeat it along the X two times there we go so it's a more smaller texture than it was actually in the picture let's see if that looks a little better all right so now that we have that we if we render this and that's what it should look like all right so now let's focus on this back wall let's actually tab out right click on this back wall hit one so you can get a better view of it and tab back in let's add a loop cut actually two loop cuts just like that and we want to go back to scale manipulator mode we want to scale them out a little bit just like that so this is going to be our window alright so now let's add another loop cut going horizontally just two again and instead of scaling them this time I just want to hit G to grab them and along the Z axis just like that and just put it up a little and now let's go to face select mode right click and hit X so now we have a hole in our wall alright so now I just want to add a lamp it's actually going to be a spot lamp. Yeah. We can't do that. Okay, let's tab out. Then we can add a lamp. Uh, spot lamp. There we go. I'm going to hit 1 and the transform widget. Um, hit 3 and just pull that back. Just a little, just like that. Just rotate it up. Hit 1. Rotate it this way a little bit. Alright, so now under the lamp settings, in order to get that square window effect that you see here, just like this, where it actually looks like the light is coming down from the square window and just hitting this one spot here intensely, we want to just down here click on square, just like that. We can actually decrease the size of the square just like that. Alright, so I'm just going to pull it up a little bit, rotate it down. A little more. Let's render that. See how that looks. All right, and here we see our square, but it's not nearly defined because of the energy. So let's uh, 15 energy works for me last time, and let's just hit escape since we know that works. And I'm actually gonna pull up a window here and make this one a UV image editor, so that our render image always stays here, but we can actually work over here. I hit T to get rid of that toolbar. All right, so now. I'm just going to position this a little bit more to the side, just like that. And so now let's add a Suzanne head. It can reflect off. Well, first let's re let's all right. Uh, click on your floor and go to the materials tab, so we can add a new material. Just want to increase the specular to one. I'm just going to close these so that I can see this in real time. I want to increase the re reflectivity to roughly uh, three. Just like that. So I put three right there. Whoa. Point three. There we go. And the gloss. If you uh, decrease the gloss, it looks more. Um, what was the word I used? It looks more. Uh, I don't know. But it just 
it looks a little more solid, I guess you can put it that way, if you decrease the gloss. So we want it like just like that. We don't want the wood floor to reflect too much. So let's actually render that. Alright, so now we have that down. down. Uh, the only thing is that you can just see right here in this corner, you can see where the wall reflects down here. And uh, I don't like my light like that, so I'm just going to rotate it over a little more. I like it to bounce off the wall. And I'm actually going to um, change my camera view. So just at the view I want it to be, just hit Control alt 0 And there's our camera. Right-click on our camera. Well, first, there you go. And just grab that. And just want to scroll in, so just hit G and hold down the mouse button. Just pull your cursor up. Just grab that over. Scroll in. Alright, so now that we have that down, let's add a Suzanne. So hit spacebar and type in. Not, they don't call it Suzanne in. Alright, add a monkey. Alright, um, where did our monkey go? Actually, don't know where it went. All right, so let's just do that again. There we go. Just pull that down. I'm actually going to scale this up a little bit. Hit three, and just rotate that. I like it to be in the view of the light, so that would actually work. And we want it to just like almost touch the floor. Just so uh, it can actually, the floor can reflect off of her. Just like that. Alright, uh, just position our camera. Alright, let's render that. I hit F12 to render, by the way. Alright, and that's what it looks like for now. Oh, I just forgot one more thing. Well, I'm just going to position this head a little more. But actually, um, we want to go to the world settings and set the horizon color to and almost white. If it's too white, it kind of over overpowers the scene. That actually works like that. Um, the lights right here, I just want to increase it a little bit. So just tweak that to find something that suits you, basically. Alright, so should rotate that up towards me a little bit more. Alright, so now let's render that. And Alright, you see that white light right there is a horizon color which if you saw my previous tutorial on how to add background images I actually showed you how to add a horizon color too so that's pretty cool um, alright so now we just wanna I'm just gonna hit T and smooth out my monkey I also wants to add a subsurf modifier just so it can reflect too and a subsurf modifier looks very much better do it at 3 and render so that it doesn't slow down your processor right now and add a material for a monkey. And we want to add mirror also and just reflect it, reflectivity too. We want I want my monkey to be almost transparent is what I like, but just decrease the gloss a little bit so it's not too transparent. All right, let's render that again. That should take a not a while but longer to render than usual just because of what it has. All right, so let's see what that looks like. And as you can see, our mirror uh, adding mirror, you can actually almost give it a metal-like appearance. If you can, if you can just see that, um, it just look chrome basically. So that's another nice way to add chrome. Um, you can see back here where our wood floor is um, reflecting off the walls. Uh, we can add more light if you'd like. I don't know. I just like it how it is. Just add a little more into that corner. But basically, that's just how you do it. I mean, you can, using different uh, features, you can, in different floors, you can actually achieve a very cool texture. As you can see here, this bright light is because my lamp is actually in the scene. So if we pull that out and re-render it, it's not going to actually show bright right there. That would, that would also be a cool way to add like a ball of focus, I guess. I did that in for another in another uh, project I made. So it looks it looks pretty cool. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, please comment below. If you'd like 
to see anything, if you're if you're having trouble with something, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to help you. Alright? Thanks for watching.